A Gay and a Non-Gay is a podcast from James Barr and Dan Hudson. They're like a lovely little couple, except they're not. James is cringing. He doesn't want to do the admin this this week. I really, no, I, I really don't because... Why? What's embarrassed? I don't know. I guess because I'm British and we're asking for money. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I said it. That's what we're doing, guys. That's what we're doing. So it won't be cringy when someone gives us 10 grand, will it? <laughs> no one's going to give Which, by the way, is the sugar daddy option oh God, in our Patreon. Go. Welcome to a gay and a non-gay. Welcome to a gay and a non-gay. Hello, I'm James Barr. That's Dan Hudson. We're on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and you can follow us by searching gay, non-gay. Yes, you can. We've got a big announcement to make, haven't we? Oh, my God. This is so exciting. Wait, stand down, everyone. Taxi for Paul are not <laughs> reuniting at the Super Bowl. That is not happening. Burn. Dan, what are the um, what are the names of your Taxi for Paul bandmates? There was me. <laughs> Dan. Dan. Yeah, Dan Hudson. There was Ross. Ross, who played bass. Ross, bass. And uh, Ben played the drums. Ben drums. And Dave um, was on guitar. Dave, guitar. Yeah. Dave. Dave. Ben. Ross. Ross. And Dan. And Dan. Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard a whole a list of more English names in your life? Well, we were from, we <laughs> so, are from So The Hole. so funny. We're not exactly the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> Text me, Paul. Were you never in a band or anything? I did tap dancing. Are you doing that at the Super Bowl? Way. Okay, so we've launched a Patreon page. Yes. Um, Patreon, if you don't know, is a website that supports creative people um, in doing what they love and making a difference in the world. And that's what we're striving to do even more so in 2018. We want to launch a series of specials um, with some really important people that are longer and we've got different tiers which we will now explain <laughs> in massive detail <laughs> my favorite tier is james's boyfriend yes yes you can now pay me to be my boyfriend <laughs> i have no shame at all but if you've got less money to give <laughs> you can give us uh you can give us as little as three dollars a month uh which will go a long way to helping us stay afloat you can only donate in dollars by the way. <laughs> yeah. We can't change the currency. So don't worry, it won't cost you loads of money. Dollars are actually uh, cheaper in pounds. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. You can Google it. But anyway. Uh, so, economist James Barr there. So the lowest... So, sorry, explain to me why dollars are cheaper than pounds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what he means is that three dollars is less than three pounds. It's is, like one pound seventy? It's two pounds twelve at is the minute. It? Oh yeah. my God. I'd be, I'd check the exchange rate like most days at the minute. Right. Anyway, so if you don't want to give much, but you'd like to give a little something, thing um you can donate to a gay and a non-gay for just three dollars a month a gay and a non-gay two unlikely friends take on the world everyone dan and i have had a conversation off air <laughs> which we've now edited out and fast forwarded dan, dan thinks we need to be more professional about what we're doing so hold on all i'm trying to say james <laughs> is that quite a lot of work goes into this podcast it doesn't really sound like it but quite a lot of time and effort goes into the, the podcast. We can't really keep on going the way we're going without asking for a little bit of money to stay afloat. So please donate as little... Oh my God, oh my God. I just realised this isn't necessarily library-free music, so we may oh. actually have to pay for it. In which case, please definitely donate. <laughs> yeah, we've got a couple of, couple of legal cases on the <laughs> it's horizon. Gonna be, it's going to be a legal case. In all seriousness, Dan and I love this podcast and monetizing it, we've really not wanted to do that because we're doing it for the love. And the way our journey began, if you listen to episode one, was such a natural journey that putting advertisers or a Patreon anywhere near our baby has been something that's been a very difficult decision to decide. But as it's become more successful, we want to put way more work into it than we both have the ability to do right now. So anything you can give us would be amazing. So to find our Patreon, uh, the website you need is www.gainongay. I don't know why I said www. No one does that anymore. Are you my nan? Oh, my nan's <laughs> not here anymore. That's really sad. I wish I hadn't said that. I don't know how to get out of that. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> donate. So the address for our Patreon is gainongay.com slash donate. Dan and I have been talking about doing some video content and like putting some videos out on Insta and YouTube and stuff. And Dan sent me a load of ideas for some vids. And he emailed me saying, I quite like the idea of me pretending to be Jamie Dornan <laughs> and trying to get into the premiere of one of his films, Fifty Shades Freed. Dan, tell me about your idea. It's exactly what I said. Pitch it. What's the idea? 
Basically, you think this is funny because no, you're... You no, know, you, you, you think this is a good idea because you think that you look like Jamie no, Tory. No, but actually... Which you do not, by the way. Sorry to piss on your bonfire. I actually... That's not an idea that I've come up with, by the way. I've never gone around saying that. People have been saying that to me. <laughs> That's, that's a fact. <laughs> Where are you going? Sorry. Carry on. What? Why, why are you Just doing that? Just tell me what you were going to say. Please carry on. When we used to work in the same place and Jamie Dornham came in, <laughs> I'm not making this up, but I don't like don't the only reason I really know who he is is because everyone says to me that, oh, I look like him. Like, I don't necessarily buy it, but I've been told so many times by people in blindfolds. Okay, forget it then. Forget it. No, people... who has told you that you look like Jamie Dornan? Google, Google him. I know what he looks well, like. Well, Google him I again. I've wanked over him multiple times, Dad. Well, I think you were probably uh, on my Facebook by the sound. I of... don't think I was. <laughs> I think you were. Bam. How do you think you look like Jamie Dornan? I... Dan, that was, it's... get back to the microphone. I'll show you the one that... Dan, I'm sorry to break this to you. No. Dan is now looking at Google images. He... Do you ever look in the mirror? <laughs> Dan, this isn't me attacking you. You're very handsome. Thanks. But you do not look okay, like forget- the hottest man in the world, Jamie Dornan. People have told me that. I'm not making this up. Like, it's convenient, like, I guess that he's good looking or whatever, but I don't care whether I do or I don't. I'm just passing on what people have said to me. <laughs> you, are, you really? You sound, yeah. Really? You sound they, like you care. I, mean, I just don't know why it's so, so funny to you, because that, I'm not... Because he is beautiful. I'll take he, that as a compliment. Thanks. <laughs> Like when, look, when people told me when I used to have short hair and I was fat and people would tell me I look like Wayne Rooney, I'd still I would still say that. Yeah, I, you do look like Wayne. No, Rooney. I don't. Not <laughs> anymore. I don't. <laughs> I like you do. Shut up. <laughs> I don't. You look I more used to. like Wayne Rooney than you do Jamie. No, Dorn. I don't. Even Talia, your girlfriend, when she read that email, messaged me like, "What is he talking about?" No, she doesn't. She's just saying that for banter or whatever. Oh, really? <laughs> So the plan is we're going to go to the Fifty Shades Freed premiere and you're going to rock up on the red carpet pretending to be Jamie Dornan. Not now you've... You, well, no, I mean, you look like him. You you basically well, are apparently, him. Well, apparently I don't, so... Well, you seem to think you do. No, but I, as I said, I'm not saying that. People are saying that to no, me. No, you got very annoyed about it. All I'm doing is passing on what people have told me to you. If I don't look like him, <laughs> you need to pass that on to everyone else. Not to me. I don't shoot the messenger. I've... I never heard of the fucking dude until everyone started telling me I look like <laughs> oh him. Oh, my God, you're so angry about this. <laughs> Why are you getting so angry? I'm just saying. Are we going to go to the premiere or what? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to try and get into the Everton game instead? <laughs> Good knowledge. I had to Google it, Dan. Hetero. I was in Manchester and I was with my mate um, and my mate's new boyfriend. And I had a date the evening of. So I was worried about what I would do in terms of the admin. Like getting your tax return in and stuff? No, Dan. The bottom admin. Oh, and um, I learned something amazing. And yes, it is a life hack. And I, I need to share it with my brother. Uh, well, we'll go ahead then. <clears throat> I need to share it with my brothers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, before we discussed me in an airport and I, I had my douche with me and it was really embarrassing because yeah. the guy got it out of my bag and was like, what's this? Is it a bomb? Yeah. Well, no longer do you need a travel douche, Dan, because you can use a sports bottle. Can you? I did it on a train. What? So you, you, hang on. So, you, <laughs> so I'm so embarrassed admitting that, but I feel like we need to know. I just, just what you just sort of squeeze it and then it yeah. sprays it sprays your ass. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I feel like that wouldn't be as thorough as the pro- I don't know. proper process. I don't know. You're not putting the bottle in your ass, are yeah, you? Yeah, you would. Yeah, you'd put the top of it. The, that's the, what you you'd put the sports nozzle. That's what you did. In, yeah. Oh, inside I your, see. Inside your bum hole and then squeeze. And it's just like a normal douche, but you don't have to carry a douche with you. You can just take a bottle of water to the bathroom. You threw it away afterwards, right? <laughs> yes, don't worry. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> I don't even understand. What, you, do you like squeeze your cheeks and that makes it... No, it's just... That kind like, of... Yeah, you just you put a little bit of soap on the top of the nozzle and then just pop it up. Right. And then you throw it away. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can see how that would work. I it's not very like, green, is it? That's, but I mean, what do you mean? It's not very oh, environmentally like, friendly. But. Not to reuse it. Oh, yeah. I wasn't really thinking about my. Um, I wasn't really thinking about my carbon footprint. I had other things on my mind. If you want more, subscribe at gaynongay.com or on iTunes or you know whoever your favourite podcast supplier is. Kisses, mwah.